Okay, so let's do it very quick because I'm very hungry and we will cover just the basic okay uh, I go to my terminal CD into desktop and create a new director that we will call charts let's CD into charts and npx create react app that we will call client and while it's installing we're gonna uh, command T to open the new tab and uh, npm init here oh okay with all the default values and we will install the express and course okay mm. so uh, what else uh, let's create server.js and i will also create uh, git ignore uh, dot git ignore because then i will push it to my repository to share with you and uh, we can open it up in our vs code Charts, 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 open, open, okay, so let's uh, just configure our imports, I'm still using the old syntax, const course, I require course, and uh, const app will be, using, will be initiated an, an express app, oops, Yes. Yeah, that's correct, right? Okay. And then app.use uh, express.json. App.use express.url encoded. You know what? I don't want to do that. Uh, I will just use the default URL encoded, which is, which is true. App.use course. App.get our route. Just to check if it's working. Uh, oops, res dot send express and app dot listen at port 3001 with a function that will just console log express server is fried. Okay, <laughs> and now here what we can do, we can go to our client. I think um, our app is already is already created so let's go to the uh, react chart js or how it's called npm yes let's go to the home page on the github and find the import here we go ctrl c let's see the into client here and paste our import hmm while it's installing let's go to their documentation and straight to examples and just choose the first one which is the vertical bar chart copy everything from here and let's go to our app.js where we're returning everything um let's oops let's just uh, call it chart by for now okay because in fact we will be creating the chart in a custom component so let's create chart.js file and we paste what we copied here except this position top as const because it's not recognized and we don't need it and we also don't need the faker because our data will be coming from our server so let's remove uh, the faker from this line and this line will be just static for now like 10 20 30 40 50 60 and the same will be for for this line here because we have two data sets here okay save and what else we want to do is we want to uh, call the function chart and export default chart okay and this actually we don't want to export the options the data we just copy uh, we just cut everything from here so the options labels and data and we paste it inside our charts function we need it because then we're gonna use the prop props 
of this function um, to get the data from our IP, from our server. So let's go to our app.js and import chart from chart. So now we can save and let's see how it looks like. Where is our React app? <laughs> we haven't started it. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, let's see. We want to know the more server.js, so we launch our server and it's not working. Very nice, I like it. Why? Um, let me move myself here. <laughs> Why are you not working? What's up? Function, listen, function. Mm. I made some bobo. Function, console log, app dot listen. <laughs> I just forgot this period. Okay. Now you are running fine, right? So then don't interrupt me anymore. Uh, and here we cd into client and npm start. It's gonna be nice if it's working. Let's see. Mm. Why you're so why you're so long? Um okay. Let's do something like uh like this. Data sets, labels, labels, title, position, text. Where we uh specify the height. Um what we can do is we go to our return here and instead of returning just the bar we return a, uh, a tag and inside it we will have a div and we wrap this bar inside a div of course you can find a lot of options for the for the chart itself like width and height etc but just easier for me to do the inline styling like with let's say 500 oops with uh, um, 500 pixels and uh, margin um, auto auto okay mm, it's too small now <laughs> uh, let's do 800 no like this oh it's perfect right <laughs> okay so we built it now the only thing left is to configure our data here so what I suggest is that we create uh, this data object and labels let's let's copy this list of labels from here for the meantime and we create our data here so const data is equal to a list of objects where the first object the value will be labels and it will be an array of labels um, and then we will have data it will be an object where we will have values that will be an array and we will have uh, I don't know something else or maybe not <laughs> and let's copy this data here copy and uh, paste okay mm -hmm. but we need uh, like two set of values so let's say that data is a list okay uh, of objects and the second object will have also values that will be equal to to the second array which in our case is the same but uh, okay let's change a bit the numbers let's say 20 15 um, 
30, 40, 25, and uh, 50. Okay. And uh, we will copy it here. It will be like uh, 15, 25, 35, 30, uh, 40, and uh, 25. Save. And now we can send this data to the front end in the JSON format. Now the most complicated part is to catch them in app.js. But not to worry, we can just import use state and use effects from React. Um, and create our state here. People use state and we will initiate the state as an array by uh, square brackets. Okay, so now let's write our use effect function that will help us to fetch the data and uh, here, don't forget the square brackets that will be empty, so the data will fetch on page load. What we do here, fetch, and for fetch we go to slash, what, HTTP, no, we can, okay, let's do like this, HTTP localhost 3001 slash data, and in our server we will also specify slash data, okay. And here we'll have also an object with the options where we will have method uh, get and uh, redirect follow. Helps me to resolve the issues. Uh, then we will change the dot then method where we have the access to the response. And um, we set this response to JSON. And then we chain another then method where we have the JSON and we. First we log it, let's log it, and then we set data to this JSON uh, file, document. And after we will change the last chain, the last method, chain, the last method with an error, <laughs> where we will log the error, okay? So let's save it and uh, refresh our page. Okay. We are receiving the array, everything's fine. Now we can just pass some of the properties to our custom made, uh, to our custom made uh, component, like labels, that will be equal to, and here we will use the ternary operator, okay? Because we will say if the data dot length is zero, if it's zero, then we want to pass the labels like uh, default, let's say pink. Otherwise, we want to send data, data zero. Let's access our data here. Data zero, and then we have dot labels, right? Dot labels, okay. Uh, save. And now we can access these properties in our chart. So here let's specify props and instead of labels here, I will just comment them out. We will say labels equals to props.labels. Save, update and uh, voila. Okay. Uh, why we have so many labels? Let's, let's delete one. Let's delete July from here, because then it's asymmetrical. Ah, I'm also propo I'm also proposing to just create a create a button here that will say refresh chart, and um, on click it's gonna be an inline function. It will just window dot location. Uh, dot reload okay that would be nice uh, refresh chart and it will be just refreshed 
Okay, so we are receiving labels right from our backend. Now we can pass also um, the data. Let's say data one that will also use ternary, ternary operator data dot length equals zero. Uh, then our data will be just all all zero. Otherwise, we will access data um, dot data zero dot data dot values or how it was let me just check my console so we have data zero dot data zero dot values <laughs> okay that was a bit pointless uh, okay but it should work now and we have also another property to send that is data two and here we just change the index of data okay now in our chart component instead of using this data we can say props dot data one and here we can say props dot data two okay let's save and refresh chart Tada! thank you for watching and uh, i hope you liked it if you have any questions or you want me to cover some more charts please text me or write me or find me you see how it's cool it's so cool <laughs> no it's a nice transition anyway thank you so much for watching i wish you a good evening good night and um yep i'll see you next time bye bye